Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying tuned uh, to Power Breakfast here on Citizen TV. Now for the wine lovers, uh, we promised uh, to have something for you today. There is a wine week happening here in Nairobi that I believe has already started. And we're going to get all the details on that. So if that's uh, your thing from the people who brought you restaurant week, I believe uh, there's burger week as well. Yes, yeah, the pizza festival. And pizza festival. Yeah. Well, we're familiar with all of that. So mm. we'll talk a little bit about what wine week is, is about. Our friend go ahead and, and introduce yourself. So my name is Fred Mwithiga. I'm the marketing manager at Eat Out. And this week we're having an amazing, an amazing offer on wine for wine lovers across the city. Basically, it's a seven day celebration of wine across the city. Different restaurants have different offers. You can head on to, for example, an art cafe and get two glasses for $7.90 or buy a bottle and get another bottle free. Oh. Or you can head on to Brew Bistro and they have this insane wing and wine pairing so they pair wing and wine i didn't know those go together <laughs> neither did i but so they're pairing six different wings with six different types of wine right and so maybe maybe we can just back up a little bit uh, i did mention restaurant week pizza festival and, and burger week as mm -hmm. well uh so talk to us a little bit about your work at eat out and why it is that you felt that wine was the next thing in line in terms of your you know celebrations and festivities so with our culture at Eat Out, our main goal is to get as many people to eat out and experience different restaurants as much as possible. So that started with Nairobi Restaurant Week, and then we moved on to Nairobi Burger Festival and Nairobi Pizza Festival. Now, with our magazine, Zayami Magazine, we've been having wine issues, and we've noted those have been doing the best. Oh. Lots of people have been asking about wine culture, um, how to pair different wines, even just how to buy the right bottle of wine. So we thought, why not? Wine is growing. It's a huge culture. People love wine. Let's yeah. have an event for it. Is it a huge culture here in Kenya, though? It is. Right. It is. Okay. So we, we kicked off our week with a two-day tasting at Jay's in Westlands, and it was insane. The amount of people who came, it was mind-blowing. And just speaking to the different wine distributors who were there and just seeing them feel so and encouraged by how much Kenyans love wine, it's, we are, we're getting there. It's I mean, I'm not a wine so I'm, going, I'm just very <laughs> naive in this conversation, so I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. But in terms of like local uh, producers of mm -hmm. wine, do we have quite a number of those? Do we have mm -hmm. people who produce quality stuff that is stocked in most of the restaurants we go to that are local? So in terms of local producers, we actually only have one vineyard in Kenya. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um, by the guys uh, at Le Leshwa. So they're the only wine um, manufacturers in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Everything else is imported. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, I have this friend who, every time I go out with him, he always makes fun of Kenyan women. He says, mm -hmm. Kenyan women only ask for sweet, sweet white wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, they don't even care what brand it is. They're like, sweet white, you know? Mm -hmm. So there's that, that uh, you know, perception that maybe we're not too cultured when mm -hmm. it comes to wine, perhaps mm -hmm. I'm wrong. What is your perception of that? I think it's, it, it's to do with two things. It's more so habits and then exposure. Because if you look at it, when you stick, when you find something that you like, you tend to stick with it. Then by the time you're getting to try something new, you're like, okay, wow, this is interesting. I've never tried this before. Mm -hmm. Why haven't I done it before? So it's more so exposure and habit. So what this is what we're trying to do: get people to try out as many different types of wines. Just get out of your comfort zone and try something new. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so you had started to talk about some of the restaurants and some of the offers yeah. uh, that will be available. How many restaurants are participating? We have over 30. Over 30 Over 30 different restaurants. Right. Yeah. So now we're talking discounts. So we're talking discounts on bottles. We're talking complimentary glasses of wine when you order your main meal. We're talking about a buy one, get one free on glasses, buy one, get one free on bottles. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how was the event that took place over the weekend? So you said at Jay's? It was, it was insane. So we had over 15 different distributors um, and there were 30 different wines people could sample mm -hmm. from across the board. So you had little vouchers that you'd go at different stations to pick whatever you wanted to sample, whether it's red, whether it was white, whether it was sparkling or a rosé. It was literally all there for you to go and try for yourself. Right. Yeah. And for people who've never had wine be a part of their, <laughs> mm -hmm. their palate, <laughs> so to speak, why would you encourage someone to step out of the box? Of, you know, because there are people who just are good with the drink they normally have and they're mm -hmm. like, you know, for example, men who yeah, think I, that, I, I, we'll get, that wine yeah, is yeah, for women. Yeah. I mean, how would you convince that person to participate? I, th I think it's, um, it's not gender-based. I think wine is, 
it's just like any other alcohol brand or alcohol variant. I think it's just that we've grown into a culture where men are supposed to drink the hard stuff and mm -hmm. women more, so the sort of light, sort of sweet kind of stuff. But wine trans transcends all gender and, and, and ethnicity, so... Like, I, I know men who purely just drink wine. Right. Yeah. So will there be education on in terms of like pairings and things like that with, you know, the food at the restaurants? Yes. So we're hosting various dinners with a few influencers and select public at different restaurants where we'll have um, connoisseurs or sommeliers <laughs> from these wine distributor companies explaining how different wines from different regions pair with the food we even make locally here. Okay, yeah. that's important. Pairings. Yes, yes. <laughs> there might be people who like wine but don't necessarily pair it with food, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's important yeah. to have that aspect there as well. So this is happening in 30 restaurants. How does one participate? Well, it's, it's pretty simple. For one, we have our, our app which you can download on the Apple Store or the Play Store and you can just browse through all the participating restaurants. Okay. Now, second thing we've done, we've partnered with Uber because we don't want people to drink and drive. That's another thing I was going to ask. You. Yes. Yeah. So with Uber, we've given uh, anyone who's heading to any participating restaurant a 25% discount when they apply the promo code WINEWEEK2018. Okay. Now, if you're tied up at work or you can't seem to get some time to go to your favorite restaurant or go to where you, buy your, you usually buy your drinks. We've partnered with Jumia and they're giving a 20% discount on select bottles and they deliver them straight to you. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. All right. So delivery is <laughs> involved there. Uh, so again, is it like a voucher system? Like how do you, like is it tickets that you buy or? No, 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 no. So when you head on to a restaurant, mm -hmm. you just let them know that you're simply there for wine week. Oh, yeah. okay, it's that simple. It's that simple. Don't need to buy anything. Don't, don't need, need to buy to anything. You just need to buy the wine. Though. I just need to buy the wine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but yeah. like beforehand, there's no vouchers, no, involved, no, no. no tickets. No. Uh, I'll, if I want to get a list of the restaurants that are participating, where do I find that? So you can head on to our website, eatout.co.ke um, slash Nairobi Wine Week, and we have a full list of all the restaurants there, included with all their offers mm -hmm. and the special menus as well. Right. Yeah. And again, these offers are starting, I know you had the pre thing mm -hmm. this weekend, but which date is this all? So it started it's yesterday on 7th. Okay. And it heads on until Sunday. Until Sunday. Yes. So this entire week. This entire if week. If people don't show up for work. You know why. <laughs> <laughs> take an Uber. <laughs> <laughs> and why we take an Uber, yeah. drink responsibly. Yeah. Uh, what is your hope at the end of all this? I mean, you guys have had success with Restaurant Week mm. and Pizza Festival and all these different types of things. What do you hope at the end of this to have achieved? Um, just to satisfy the, the curiosity of those foodies out there and wine lovers out there. Because there are those people who've been asking for so many of these events and those people who only get to try different foods and different wines when these things happen. So it's just to satisfy that curiosity, um, obviously get some more food fall into the restaurants and basically make everyone happy with wine. Yeah, yeah. It speaks well of, of, of our culture, I think, uh, that we're evolving into that whole sophisticated <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> you know, realm of, of, of wine lovers. Mm. So if you are a wine lover, check out Wine Week. It has began in 30 different restaurants here in Nairobi. And like you said, you can check out the, the website to find out the restaurants. And yeah, make a date, get a discount, exactly. why not? Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, um, uh, uh, people were asking for vouchers, for yes. wine back, you know, <laughs> the back uh, in the gallery there. Did you bring us wine? No, but I do have vouchers. Oh. I have wine pairing din wine paired dinners um, for two okay. at Park in Radisson. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so it's very simple. I'll just ask people to tell us who our title sponsor is for our Nairobi Wine Week, and you could win a voucher for two. Okay. Are you guys on Twitter? Yes, we are. Okay. What's your Twitter? Um, mention Eat Out Kenya, and the hashtag is Nairobi Wine Week, and of course, Power Breakfast. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Fred, for Thank being here. Thank you for having here. me. And of course, uh, do check out Wine Week if you can. Keep it tuned. We're going to have some health tips for you here before the end of the show. This is Power Breakfast. We'll be right back.